CataractCoach.com. Cataract quiz, where did the nucleus go? After needle decompression, the capsule bag seems empty. Let's watch carefully here. So you can see unusual looking case here. So patient nicely draped. Here comes some tripen blue dye, a couple pairs of TCs. Let's put in some viscoelastic, we'll dilute the dye down. You can see the lens looks a little bit strange. So there's some coagulation of those lens proteins. Here comes the viscoelastic going inside the eye. Here's the main incision being made. And let's watch the capsulorexis in progress. So poking in with a cisatome, let's see. And look how resistant it is to poking in. So maybe trying to grab with scissors here. There are forceps. Now going in the cisatome again. Really hard to poke in. Look at the laxity of the anterior lens capsule. Wow, unusual, right? Hey, did I tell you about our podcast? The top podcast in all of ophthalmology, sole purpose is to make you a more successful ophthalmologist. You better check it out. Now, going in again with the needle, look how difficult it is to even pierce that lens capsule. So now trying to get in there, what do you think is going on here? Well, with that much laxity of the anterior lens capsule, you probably have tremendous zonulopathy. So going in again with this sharp cystotome, and look how difficult it is to get into the lens capsule. So maybe it's fibrotic, and now trying in again here, micro scissors to try to cut into it. Again, very unusual case here. So cutting in the other side, perhaps. In a case like this, this would be, you know, very difficult to cut the lens capsule. It's fibrotic, it's thickened, almost leathery. So now can you grab it finally? But as you start to try tear the rexus, you know you're going to get complete movement of that capsule. There's so much zonal laxity. So now maybe buzzing with the phaco probe. What can you do to get into this? Oh, look at the laxity of the zonal support, how the capsule comes in there. Now, where's the nucleus? Now, you, you aspirate out the liquid from the bag. Now you have an opening. Okay, you're getting somewhat of a rexus done. Opening it up. Whoa, what is going on here? Well, the entire lens liquefied. So here, just get rid of the capsule. There is no lens material left. You had a little bit of liquefied lens material in the bag, and that was easily aspirated. Now the surgeon's here gonna, looks like marking to do a Yamani procedure. Got a pars plane of port in there. And so take a look. Let's go look in the back with the viewing system just to make sure that you don't have anything going on back there. So here's a three port pars plane of vitrectomy. Going inside, clean up any of that vitreous. And now with the viewing system, let's look back there and make sure that there is no lens material in the vitreous cavity. Now, if you're not a vitreoretinal surgeon, you don't have a vitreoretinal viewing system here in your scope, you can actually stop the case, put on an indirect ophthalmoscope, look back there, what do you see? So let's see what the surgeon's gonna do here. There's the light pipe, here's the posterior viewing system, and in fact, there is no big nucleus back there. So let's take a look, doing a vitrectomy here, cleaning out. I think the patient's going to get a full uh, vitrectomy here. And not the best looking retina. You know what we need? We need a, a retina channel. We need retinarounds.com so we can all learn together about retina cases. This is an unusual case. This patient has a beta thalassemia, apparently. And luckily, again, no lens material back in the vitreous cavity. So at this point, you can put in the IOL. Again, capsule was completely useless in this case. So let's see what's going to be going on here now. Yep, looks like, all right, there's the light pipe one more time. Not sure what the decompression there is. Oh, just don't oh, check in the retinal periphery. Gotcha, gotcha. This is what happens when I don't do vitrectomies. So we'll, we'll have, don't worry, we have a retina channel coming to Cataract Coach. I promised you. It's going to be retinarounds.com. A member of the Cataract Coach family. It is coming. So now, there we go. Here's for the Yamane. Now, this Yamane is going to be a lot more straightforward because you have a full vitrectomy already completed here. So threading that through and then pulling this out and then thread the other side as well. Now, I was talking to a retina colleague who says that he's now starting to see more of these complications from Yamane procedures such as late dislocation or rotation of the haptics and tilting of the lens. So again, not a, there's no per surgery that's absolutely perfect. It's all, you know, relatively speaking here. So a little cautery here to create a flange and then make sure you get these flanges within the sclera and this patient can have a reasonable outcome. So you're pulling it through. There's that haptic. Again, make a little bit of a flange and then make sure the flange is not just sitting under the conjunctiva. It has to be buried within the sclera to avoid late erosion. 
So very nicely done. Interesting case. Tell me, comment below. Have you seen a case like this with an empty caps or bag? I'd love to know. And remember that podcast. Every Sunday, everywhere you find podcast services.